Hi everybody, just got done playing around with some basketball, all tired. Just wanted to sit down on the couch and do a quick little YouTube video for you guys here. While we're at it, we got Galaxy's litter out right now. And also Roxy and Ryder right there from a different litter. Hey buddy, hey. Yeah, just having some fun times. Um, here in the gym. But in today's video, guys, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, one topic with you guys, which is uh, the tan points for a Frenchie. Have a little quick discussion on tan points, um, what causes tan points, um, are tan points important, um, what does tan points mean in general with a French Bulldog. Come hey here, let's do, use you as an example too, Gabby. You're just a sweetheart. It's Gracie. Or Gracie. Yeah, you're a little girl. So obviously, out of these three pups here, one of the puppies has tan points, and that would be uh, Ginger. Ginger, right here. She has tan points. Um, tan points are shown through the feet, through the face. You can even kind of see it throughout the ear. Um, and yeah, she's a chocolate and tan. So whenever somebody has tan points, normally, you know, you just say and tan at the at the end. So if lilac had tan points, you say lilac and tan, blue and tan, um, chocolate and tan. That's kind of how you determine. Uh, the wording as far as the color name for tan points and uh, the when you do your color dna test guys what's going to determine the color dna is that if it has at at so if a puppy has at at it's going to be carrying tan points and uh, so that's what that's the different that's the nomenclature you're going to be looking for in the genetic testing it can be a y or a um, as well um, but that's not tan points so what determines if your puppies have tan points <laughs> We got them running around. There's a lot of different factors into that. There are puppies that carry, um, I guess there's a difference. So you can have visible tan points like this one, but also you can be a carrier of tan points. Um, some pups, depending on their color DNA, they could have both copies of ATAT, but based on, you know, the brindle, other different, um, you know, cream. Um, if you have a, for instance, a lilac, um, a lilac a platinum. Platinum is going to cover everything. So sometimes there's going to be instances where your tan points are not visible, depending on the other different colors. So, most of, but in general, um, if they have a cop, both copies of ATAT, you should see them. Again, there are specific, more rare colors that don't show them. This guy here does carry at least one copy of AT, but does not show them. So, um, you can see this is the same litter. This one here carries two copies, this one carries one copy. So, yeah. hey guys, quit chewing on the carpets. I'm trying to do a YouTube video over here. Roxy, you know better. <laughs> uh, the other question is, you know, do you prefer tan points? And, you know, looking at these two puppies, would you rather have a puppy with tan points or not with tan points? It's just um, specific, you know, to the person's um, characteristics, what they like. Um, so there's no health issues or other reasons besides whether you like the look of them or not. So uh, here we got this little girl. I mean, we preferably I, on the morals. I do like the tan points, but you're still pretty girly, aren't you? We just did a YouTube video, guys. If you haven't seen it, of me shooting a free. And if I make it, we did a $200 gift card giveaway. If not, if I missed it, we still did a 50. So definitely check that YouTube video out. But in today's video, I just wanted to talk about tan points. Thanks guys and have a great day.